request to speak on non agenda items and communications from the public. This is an opportunity for the public to address the board on non agenda items. No action can be taken on non agenda items or policy 9055. Individual speakers may be allowed up to five minutes to address the board on any non agenda item. The board reserves the right to limit the time on non agenda items. Prior to addressing the board, please fill out your request to address the board card. The person addressing the board should first state the name association with the district and address. This time the board wishes to recognize the community. Let's start with Ms. B. My name is Raina Duffin Buckley. I reside um, in the park. I'm here again as a concerned citizen for the children in my community. Um, from December 5th, 2011 to July 18th, 2012, that's around seven months, this board has made approximately 21 determinations on expulsion and or other placements for students in this district under agenda, agenda item student disciplinary action. This concerns me since the district signed a resolution agreement on June 15, 2012 in response to OCR complaint 09111305. This agreement is five pages long and has multiple compliance corrections to, to, to this district's 504 policies, which have been out of compliance since 2008. I don't have enough time to cover it all, so here are some of the highlights. This district must define what is a disability. This is so you have the criteria to determine if a student has a disability. The district policies will define an evaluation process. The district will develop a written administrative guidance on identifying and evaluating students with attention deficit disorder, including inattentive hyperactivity and impulsivity types. The district will, retry, will provide training to all administrative and instructional staff that participate on student study teams, 504s, or IEPs. Training will include the district's new and revised 504 policies and procedures, the district's administrative <coughs> guidance on ADD, the definitions of a student with a disability under 504, etc. The district will provide public notice to all parents that have a child in this district that they will be eligible that they may be eligible for services under Section 504. This includes diagnoses such as ADD, anxiety disorder, and or other disabilities. It's worth noting that you buried the public notice online in the parent um, annual notification guide. The only documentation provided to the parents was a parent signature acknowledgement to the parent annual notification guide, and this was buried in the 2012-13 student registration packet. With all that said, I guess what I'm asking is when is the district going to comply with the legal policies and law and have some accountability for what is taking place in our schools? You signed this agreement on June 15th. Yes, this board has made, had no problem expelling three more students from this district. You don't know for a fact that those 21 students that were expelled or moved are, were unidentified disabled students whose only intervention was punitive measures and expulsion. This type of treatment changes who our kids are. It certainly has changed my oldest sons whose interventions this freshman year consisted of Let's see, 40 after school detention, 17 Saturday schools, um, and a few behavior contracts. My son was eligible for special education and had a 504, which are administrators as well as the teachers refused to acknowledge. Like failing my son in a majority of his classes wasn't enough. But the, the punishment measures, it's really inhumane. Not all students are gifted. And it doesn't mean that you guys should retaliate on them. You need to stop these practices. It's child abuse. Um, I also want to mention that the summer program for special education students discussed at your August 1st board meeting only included select students. It wasn't after referring to my youngest son, nor was I aware that this was an option that would help him not regress during summer school. I bet any other parent, special ed parents in the district, the ones without the attorneys, are just as unaware. Um, please consider this a public records request. I want proof that your teachers have actually done the training that OCR was asking you to do. It's, and I want that to include the new the 30 new teachers that you re recently bragged about hiring in September. Thank you. That's all I have to say. And the one thing that Miss um, Beth forgot to tell you is okay. her, her son that was in ninth grade, the reason why he failed the majority of his classes is because his hands were like this and he had um, raw 
rods in him because he broke every bone in his hand, but yet nobody gave him assistance. So, you know, that's an important component that you kind of need to know. Um, I'm asking right now, I would like, to, as I am requesting actually from the board, that um, you do an RTI presentation and the public can ask and request an agenda item, and that is what I'm doing on your RTI. How it's implemented, if you have policies, procedures in place, how you rolled it out, where it's taking place, is it taking place in all grades, only certain grades, only certain um, schools. I'd like to know because it's hard for me to believe that, you know, RTI is not here in this school and that there's no literature on your RTI at all, according to Carlos Coles when I had a conversation with him. And then my next um, thing is, this piece of passing down to the board members and the superintendent, is under the California Public Records Act, requesting the last five years of Benita Unified School District legal expenses related to special education litigation. I'm requesting the last five years of all legal expenses that Benita Unified School District has spent on special education litigation related to mediation, special education, resolution, 504 plans, complying with the American with Disability Act, and consultations to district staff by any and all legal service providers paid by the Benita Unified School District. Under the California Public Records Act, the public has the right to the documents and should be made available for inspection by any person requesting the records within the next within the next 10 business days. I am also requesting these documents to be emailed to me. This, also, um, that these public records requests be placed on the Benita Unified School District website for transparency purposes for the community, parents, students, and employees to see and know how education dollars are spent in Benita Unified School District in regards to special education. In education today, greater financial uncertainty is within all school districts. The public needs to be aware how education dollars are being spent, especially when they are not being spent wisely. <coughs> then I have another letter. If you could pass it down to the board members and the superintendent. The California Public Records Act, requesting the last five years of the Benita Unified School District settlement agreements between parent, student, and Benita Unified School District. I am requesting the last five years of all confidential settlement agreements, settlement agreements between parent, student, and Benita Unified School District. Under the California Public Records Act, the public has the right to the documents and should be made available for inspection by any person requesting the records after deletion of only the portions that are exempt by law. I am not asking for any type of disclosure on these settlement agreements regarding the identities of the students. I am giving you notice that you are to adhere to the law regarding my request and only exempt material should be deleted on all permissible information is to remain. Please respond to this letter and inform me if this will be provided or not. And just to let you know, I went to special education training for, for schools, for um, special ed directors, for SELPAs, I was there, I didn't see any of your staff there, and I learned that this is, I already knew, but basically this is the law, and the public can ask for these documents. So I hope you get a response back pretty fast from your legal counsel, seeing that Carl's Colts didn't attend the training. Thank you. 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 